so now I'm talking to Graham from Canada. He's come all the way to attend our conference here. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you doing? What's your position? What are you working on? Sure. So I'm Graham Carr. I'm the Vice President for Research and Graduate Studies at Concordia University in Montreal. Concordia University is an English language institution which has about 45,000 students, of whom 7,500 are at the graduate level. And we have four uh, main faculties, Arts and Science, Engineering, Computer Science, the School of Business, the Faculty of Fine Arts, and there's a, a School of Graduate Studies, and there are deans for each of those entities. Okay. And how come you're coming all the way here to attend this conference about the deans? Uh, because when uh, Volker and Christian were doing their research, uh, I was one of the people whom they interviewed in Canada, and oh. uh, we had a pretty good discussion uh, about uh, some aspects of Quebec, Canadian, North American uh, Uh, university governance as it relates to the roles of deans and vice presidents and then uh, they invited me and I'm <laughs> yeah, happy to be here. <laughs> we are very happy to have you here and you have a very interesting topic it says the relationship between dean and vice president so the question was pulling together or everyone for himself so what after the first day of conference what would you say? Well, I'd say after the first day of conference what I would have said coming in, which is that uh, the, the, the only successful strategy for universities is that vice presidents and deans are well aligned with each other. So they, well they, need to, they need to work uh, cooperatively and collaboratively. And I'd push that even further and say that one of the things that we've discussed in the conference a little bit is also the role of uh, deans in relationships to each to each other mm. and looking for more uh, collaborative strategies to, to, to work together going, mm -hmm. going forward. Um, the reality is that uh, university culture is changing, research culture is changing, teaching and learning are changing, and many of the old uh, boundaries that uh, justified the creation of departments or faculties are probably less relevant today than they once were and will be perhaps even less relevant mm -hmm. in the future. Um, so finding ways to facilitate that change and think about that change mm -hmm. uh, is important. And can you give us an example how to achieve such a cooperation or such a balance? Sure. So I think uh, one of the things uh, most um, um, many universities uh, are interested in increasing their uh, research performance, and that's a very important uh, indicator of uh, reputation in universities. The nature of research in the 21st century has become increasingly transdisciplinary. It's important that we uh, recruit, hire faculty, and support faculty who are comfortable working in a transdisciplinary environment. And that may mean that there are individuals who straddle different faculties, different departments, etc. And it's important for deans and other academic administrators um, to develop structures and support mechanisms to allow those people to do the kind of research which is going to advance the reputation of the university and the training of students. So that's one example where it's important to break down some of those boundaries. Okay, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.